Have you ever noticed how a magnet can pull paper clips toward it without touching them? Or how objects fall to the ground even when nobody pushes them? Maybe you have even seen your hair stick to a balloon because of static electricity. All of these are caused by non-contact forces. These are the forces that act without touching the object. In this video, we'll explore the main types of non-contact forces and see how they shape motion in our everyday world. Ugh, amazing! This is Surbass of Surbass TV, and I will be your guide in exploring the world of science. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment. Hashtag Agamazing. Let's go! Gravitational force is the force of attraction between objects with mass. It pulls objects toward each other even when they are not touching. For example, Earth's gravity pulls everything toward its center. That's why water flows downhill in rivers. It also falls from a faucet when you turn it on. Another example is when you jump. Gravity pulls you back down to the ground. Think of how the moon stays in orbit around Earth. That's gravity keeping it in motion. Weight is a downward gravitational force that the Earth exerts on an object near or on its surface. For example, an object with a mass of 1 kilogram weighs about 10 newtons on Earth. The weight of an object can be calculated using the formula weight in newtons equals mass in kilograms multiplied by gravity. On the surface of the Earth, the acceleration due to the gravity is approximately 9.8 meters per second squared. The negative sign in some formula shows that the force is directed downward toward the Earth. For example, if you have a sack of rice with a mass of 50 kg, you can calculate its weight using the formula weight is equal to mass times gravity. On Earth, gravity is about 9.8 meters per second squared, so the calculation is Weight equals 50 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared that gives a weight of 490 newtons. This means the bag of rice exerts a downward force of 490 newtons due to gravity. Remember, weight is a force not the same as mass, and it always points downward toward the center of the Earth. Another example is astronauts in space. Their weight is much less because gravity is weaker even though their mass stays the same. Magnetic force is the attraction or repulsion between magnetic materials like iron or magnets. It can act over a distance without touching the object. For example, a magnet can pull paper clips toward it or push another magnet away. Magnets have poles. Opposite poles attracts, and the same poles repels each other. Another example is a compass needle. It aligns with Earth's magnetic field even though nothing is touching it. You can also see magnetic force in action with a crane lifting scrap metal at a junkyard. The magnet attracts the metal without touching it directly. Electrostatic force is the force between charged objects. This force is caused by the electric field around charged objects. It can attract or repel without direct contact. Objects with opposite charges attract, while others with the same type of charge repel each other. Take a look at this example. The girl's hair is attracted to the balloon because they have opposite charges. In summary, Gravitational force pulls objects with mass toward each other. Weight is the gravitational pull on an object's mass. Magnetic force attracts or repels magnetic materials. Electrostatic force attracts or repels charged objects. Non-contact forces are all around us. 
pulling, pushing, and influencing motion, even we cannot see them. This is Servas of Servas TV saying, Keep asking, keep exploring, and stay amazing. See you in the next lesson.